Uh, and I'll try to begin my reading with the, the poem uh, which is my favorite, uh, which is about travelers, but different travelers. Travelers who travel for money, who travel for survival, people who travel, animals and people, mules, who are travelers for survival, for the bare survival on the glacier heights. They come from the towns and from the, from the lower lands and they, they, they take the load up uh, on, the, on the great uh, Tibetan soul route. The poem is called Mules. On the great Tibetan soul route they meet me again, old forsaken friends. On their faces, fatigue of a drunken sleep. Their lives worn out, their legs twisted, shaking from carrying illustrious flags of bleeding ascents. Age-long bells clinging to them like festering wounds, beating notes of a slavery that modernism brings. Cartoons of iceberg, mineral water bottles, solar heaters, tiny styles, tin cans, carom boards, sacks of rice, and iodized salt from the plains of Nepal Tarai. Butterflies of the terrace fields know their names, singing brooks, tempests of their breathless climbs. Traffic alert and time tested, they climb, carrying dreams of posh peacocks, pamphlets of a secret religious war, filth of an ecologist's trial semen, entire kitchen for a cocktail party at the base camp, defunct development agendas of guilty donors, the West's weird visions lusting for an instant purge. Stone steps of the mountains embossed on their drugged brains like lines of a boated love scratched on the historic rocks of the water spouts. Starry skies of the dozing valleys know the ache of their secret sweat. Sunny days along the crystal rivers taste of their bleeding eyes. And the greatest fiction of their struggling lives lost like real mules collecting their hooves on the flagstones encircling the cruel grandeur of bloodthirsty mule paths around the glaciers of Annapurna. Thank you.